Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Libra Love Prediction reading for January 17th through January 23rd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else in your love space energy. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, sweet, kind Libras. Show me what's going on with my Libra spirit, guys. Spirit guys, show me what's going on with my Libras. Let's see what you got going on, Libras. Let's see. The Hermit card. Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. Huh. Okay, Libra. Huh. The, nine, the Hermit leaves your reading. The Hermit is all about introspection. It's all about looking at yourself. It's all about learning from yourself. It's all about looking at yourself, picking yourself apart, and seeing what's working and what's not working and having wisdom enough to change it. And I'm going to honestly say what I see here. You have to give me a thumbs down if you want to. But I see that you keep doing the same thing over and over again. And now the Seven of Swords means it's, it's betrayal, it's cheating. And I think that you're not being faithful to someone. And I don't quite know why you're not being faithful to someone, but I think you're just not being faithful to someone. You've still not learned. And this time... It, they're not taking you back this time. They're not. They just aren't. But you're still not faithful to them. You need to, and you're asking yourself why. What is missing from this relationship that makes you cheat? What is it? You're looking at yourself and trying to figure out what is it from a relationship with someone that you love, but you still got to cheat. You still got to look at the eye candy. You still got to do what you do. Here's the Queen of Cups and excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles in the middle of this read. And the Queen of Pentacles is a bad girl. The Queen of Pentacles may have her own business. She might run her own business. She might help you run your business. She is very well respected and admired in the community. People know her. People look up to her just simply because she knows how to take care of her business. She she knows how to take care of her money. She's never without money. But you know what? She's not gonna put one thing about an earth sign. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus. Or Capricorn. An earth sign will not put up with cheating. You don't get a chance to come back from that. I'm sorry. They just normally do not. They do not. And here you are on the beg mode with this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is you're begging for them to come back. You are you are simply begging for them to come back. And when I say begging, um, and that's a pretty harsh term. But that's what I see. You're begging for this Knight of Pentacles. Who you wanted. Who you, you adore. But you just can't stop cheating. But here's this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is all about um, trying to show someone that you are loyal, that you are trustworthy, that you will not hurt them. You are absolutely trying to beg someone. You made a mistake, but I don't think I don't know if they're coming back. Because see, at the end of this portion of the read, I don't know. We're going to keep reading to see what the spirit guides say. But you have the nine of swords. And nine of swords is all about confusion. I mean, this is you're just in a state of confusion because you can't lose this person. You love this person. You adore this person. But uh-uh. Uh-uh. They don't play around that way. You knew they didn't play around that way. But, you know, sometimes people have to learn the hard way. They have to learn the hard way. <clears throat> Nine of Swords is all about confusion. You're confused about this. You just don't know what to do. I mean, you can't sleep. You have nightmares. You can't. There is absolutely nothing that you can do right now that can soothe you on when it comes to this relationship. You do not know what to do. But let's see what the spirit guides tell you. What are the spirit guides telling you? Um, let's see. Show me, spirit guides. Why is this hermit card here? Show me why the hermit card is here. Show me, show me, spirit guides. Why is the hermit card here? For my Libras. Let's see why the Kermit card is here for Libras. Okay, let's see. 
Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. This is a burden. Um, something has been a burden to you, and it's 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 a burden that's coming to an end. And I think it's coming to an end because you know what? You can't take the hurt that you're going to get when this person is not going to be with you. Because the Ten of Wands is all about an ending. It's an ending of burdens, an ending of heart. It, it, not heartache, but just the end. It could be an ending of anything, but I strongly believe it's an ending because you've learned. I think it's an ending because I think you've learned that you don't want to cheat anymore. You can't, it's something about this that you just couldn't stay away from, but that's an ending to that. You understand now what you want. Might be too late, but we're going to see. Seven of Swords. Why is it Seven of Swords here? Show me why the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here for my Libras? Five of Pentacles. So, I think the universe is showing you why you keep stepping out. This earth sign, this earth sign has their stuff together. This earth sign, if you're an earth sign, this earth sign has it going on. And sometimes I don't think you feel worthy. I don't. And I think that's why you cheat because other women may build you up, you know, or if you're a woman. And even if this is a queen, even though it's a queen of pentacles here, it could be a man that, um, a Taurus, Virgo, uh, or a Capricorn too that has money. It's just the energy here. Um, they could be respected. But for some reason, you don't feel like you are. So guess what you do? You go either play with a, a, a either a, 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 someone that's um, beneath you. And I don't really say beneath you, but maybe just doesn't think on the same level as you. Don't have the same kind of money that you have. Don't have the same kind of goals that you have. But they build you up. They build you up. So that's what you go play with. Because sometimes you feel like you're not worthy. Sometimes you feel like you're not worthy. If this is a, a, a woman, then you know what? You do the same thing. You go play with somebody else to build you up, <laughs> you know, because that other that uh, pinnacles, those, that pinnacle person does not build you up like that. Um, and you go play with somebody that builds you up because you feel like you're not as worthy. That's what the problem is. Let's see why the queen of pentacles is here. Queen of swords. Yeah, I told you this, this uh, queen of pentacles, Um, she don't play. She don't play. She or he doesn't play. They won't take cheating. Queen of Swords is all about black and white. They're letting you know, hey, too bad. Oh, so sad. They're not, I don't know if they're coming back. I don't know if they're coming back because they don't, they don't play. They have too much to lose. So why should they waste their time on you if you're going to cheat on them and make them look ridiculous, which they cannot stand. So let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Uh, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is all about growth. It's all about growth. Um, Seven of Pentacles... Um, it's, it's just all about growth. It's about you looking and seeing or trying to show them that you have grown and that you are better than you were before, that you won't do this again. That's what this is about. Just telling them, I won't do this again. I'm so sorry. You're begging. And I, I hate to say it, but I do see, I just see you begging. And when I say begging, in any which way, however you want to see it. And don't, if you give me a thumbs down, it is what it is. But you're begging them and showing them that you're trustworthy, you're kind, you're sweet, you'll be there, loyal, all of the above. And trying to show them that you have grown. So let's see what the Nine of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Got the Wheel of Fortune. So, normally I say that they don't give people a chance to come back. But the Wheel of Fortune, I think when it comes to this, I think the Wheel of Fortune for this is meaning the karma it has been karmic for you. You got some, you got back what you gave to somebody else. That's what this is. You've getting back to what you gave to someone with that nine of swords there. You you're in a state of disarray. You have no idea what to do next because this person's not coming back. But you got you got back what you gave to someone else. Let's look at the hermit. The hermit can be a Virgo person too, but it's all about somebody that has introspection that's trying to figure it out, trying to look at themselves and see what they what what happened here. Why why did you do what you did? Ten of Wands, like I said, is the ending of of that, and I think it's the ending of betrayal, the ending of you cheating with the Seven of Swords. You cheat because you don't feel worthy, but that's all in your head. That's all in your head. But that's why you cheat. That's why you're not loyal sometimes. You have what you want. This queen of pentacles energy can be a man or a woman. And I say that because it can just be a woman or a man that knows how to take care of the business. That runs a business, a CEO. But they're telling you that queen of swords is a itch. 
I really think this is a woman too. I do, but it's an itch and it's a beat. You know what I'm saying? Takes no mess. Takes no prisoners. That's what kind of that Queen of Swords is. Knight of Cups, you're begging and you're trying to look for growth. You're telling them you've grown. But now the universe, the will of fortune has moved not in your favor because the Nine of Swords is there. You're getting back what you gave to someone before. You reap what you sow. So let's see. What does my Queen Goddesses have to say? Oh my. Oh my. Medusa rage. Yes, you are in rage. Because it's not a source telling me you're in rage. You're in nightmare mode. You don't know what to do. Can't sleep, can't eat. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.